it's sort of like now, you know, we're not supposed to be political. We don't want to talk, you know, it's like a party. We don't talk about politics. We don't talk about religion and all this other stuff. But this is a technology class. And as you may be aware, governments tend, have been tending to seize domain names. Oh, you can't go to that site. You can't go to the Pirate Bay. Oh, you can't go to these gambling sites. You can't go to here. You can't go to there. And what they do is they go in and they change, for example, the .com server so it doesn't point to it. Well, one company simply says, okay, we're not going to be .com. We're going to be dot .something else. And they register with that dot .something else. Uh, you see these um, uh, dot .tv domain names. A dot .tv is a domain name that has been assigned to an island out in the ocean. Traval or something like that. I don't remember what it is. But they have made a lot of income by letting people register their names under the dot .tv. It's like dot .uk or dot .us. It's a country. And as long as that country says, eh, heck with you, whoever's trying to send me a subpoena to block, you can't mess with our DNS. It doesn't matter. But let's say that maybe the, uh, let's say the United Nations gets together and they, they have a big meeting and they say, we're not going to allow access to this particular website. And so what we're going to do is, is we're going to have a worldwide ban on, we'll say, DougBassett.com. Worldwide ban. Now, I don't own that domain and I don't know if you want to go there or not. I have no idea what's on there. So we'll just pretend. DougBassett.com. We're going to block it. Nobody else can go to it. Every DNS server in the universe has a file now added to it that says, can't go to DougBassett.com. Heaven forbid. I just go in and put a host file. And on this host file, I find out what the IP address is for DougBassett.com, and I just type it in there. And guess what? You can't block it unless you change the IP address. But then again, you know, IP address changes. It pops up over there and all my hacker buddies tell me, oh yeah, the new IP address is such and such. Or it goes over there and all my buddies tell me, oh yeah, the new IP address. So unless you examine the traffic, unless you open up the packets and look at the packets and say, oh, it's going to Doug B, good luck blocking anything. All you're doing is making it inconvenient. <laughs> and it's not even that inconvenient. So DNS allows the masses to be able to locate resources, but if you know the IP address, you know, get on a get on the phone with somebody who can gain access to it and call them up and say, yeah, what is the IP address of DougBassett.com? They can tell you, you type it in your host files and boom, you connect. So all this noise and fluster and block this, block that, you're not really doing much besides making it so average people can get to it. But somebody who, you know, if it's a hacker site, hackers sometimes can be kind of clever and it's easy to get to. Anyway, stepping away from the soapbox. <laughs>